Guys, welcome back to another video. Um, and we're going to do a collection video today. Um, if you remember the last time Richard Bush had a, a pretty big hiatus, disappeared for a little while. Uh, and I came back and did a few collection videos. Just a uh, quick pan, panning across them, kind of thing. Um, and one of them was the Mega CD. Um, and at the time, I think there must have only been about 12, 12 games, I think. Uh, that's pretty much doubled um, since I did that. So yeah, I figured I'd um, do a quick Mega CD collection video. Um, and yeah. Uh, the, I'm going to save three till last. Um, they're the most recent ones which have yet to appear in any type of pickup video. Um, so I'll, I'll save those three till the end. <coughs> so let's go. Uh, first two are sports games. Um, and are among some of the oldest ones I've got, actually, in terms of how long I've owned them for. Uh, there's a couple of others. But yeah, I've, I've had these for quite a long time, actually. Um, not sure. Not sure when I got them, actually. Very early 2000s, I think. Could even have been the late 90s. I really don't remember. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> let's crack on. Uh, the first one is FIFA International Soccer Championship Edition. Not bad. Um, I, I, I did. Um, I did want to pick up one of the old Fifas for the Mega Drive um, at the time, but I decided to get this. Um, I'm pretty sure this and the other one were in cash converters, the old style cash converters. I think back then they had a different um, logo. Anyway, I'm waffling about rubbish. Anyway, there's FIFA International Soccer. Uh, all these are complete, by the way, guys. Every single one. I don't pick them up if there's no manuals or whatever. Um, so yeah. Anyway, moving on to NHL Hockey '94. Great stuff. Essentially, it's just the Mega Drive version with um, little bits of F and V here and there, and a better sound, similar to FIFA. So that's that. Next, um, these next two are also ones which I've had for a very long time. Um, and there may be one more, yeah there is. Anyway, Jaguar XJ220, or 220, uh, very similar to Lotus, the Lotus games on the Mega Drive, um, incredibly similar, uh, but again, you know, it's pretty good on, on the Mega CD, um, not expensive, if this is one of the cheap ones. I've noticed a lot of these prices are really going up for the Mega CD, especially the hardware as well. It's crazy. Uh, this next one um, also got from Cash Converters, and that's Lethal Enforcers 2 Gunfighters. Uh, this also did come with the Justifier gun, which is a blue one. Sadly, they can't use that anymore, um, which is a shame. But yeah, it's not very good. Um, yeah, I don't know. One of the problems I, I found with that game is that most of the enemies just keep saying the same thing over and over again. Uh, it's, it's kind of annoying. Uh, th this is the, the last one I've had for a while. Pretty sure. There may be a couple of others, actually. Uh, this is another one I've had for quite a long time. And that's The Amazing Spider-Man versus The Kingpin. Again, it's basically just a Mega Drive game um, with animated cutscenes, um, slightly better sound and all the rest of it. Um, I think it has more levels than the Mega Drive game as well, actually. Not sure. But yeah, that's another one I've had for a while. Um, I've seen that uh, on eBay a few times with crazy bite now. I don't get it. Next up, a couple of um, typical Mega CD games. Um, okay. First up is Tom Catali. Yeah, this is what I mean by typical uh, Mega CD games. Loads of these. Um, 
FMV movie games basically. Um, well, yeah, I know that's that's another one which is really really common, uh, very cheap. It's not too bad, you know, if you can pick it up for a few pound or dollars. Next, Road Avenger. Again, a very very common title for the for the CD. Um, not too bad. I'd say it's one of the better ones of its type. Um, I'm trying to think of what else is similar. Uh, Tom Catelli is a little bit different, I suppose. Um, I think Time Gal is very similar to this, but rubbish. <laughs> uh, Power Rangers as well. That's, I think that's fairly similar. Next up, this is a fairly recent one. Is the double pack of Salties and Cobra Command. Great stuff. Again, extremely common. Very, 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 very cheap. Um, moving on from that. Where should I go? We'll do this one. Another recent one. Uh, Sega Classic Arcade Collection. Uh, I think this appeared in one of the, the last pickup videos. Um, again, extremely common. And very cheap. Um, what's next? Pitfall, the mine adventure. It's another that seems to have a bit of a crazy price. I don't know why. I don't know. But again, very, very similar to the Mega Drive game, with just some slight enhancements here and there. Um, but it's not a bad game actually. Next, Wolf Child. Okay, this is another fairly recent purchase. Um, I think late last year I uh, grabbed this from Cash Generator. It's not too bad. Um, in terms of graphics and, and things like that, it's very similar to you know the Amiga and whatnot. Uh, but some really really cool music, I think. I think it's good music. Batman Returns, another one. Uh, it's pretty pretty common. Uh, it's one of the more popular titles actually back in the day, if I remember rightly. Um, so I do remember Me Machines. It would have been Me Machines Sega at that time. Uh, really, really rated this game quite highly, um, especially the driving sections, which I don't really see. Um, looking at it now, trying to go back. I think as a kid I, I wouldn't have thought it was anything that special. But there you go. Um Jurassic Park. This is one of those ones which I did like the look of back in '93 when this would have come out. Because I'm a big fan of the movie, especially back then. Um, so this was one of the, the, the games which I would have liked. You know, if I had if I'd had a Mega CD, um, but I, I never did have one, and it's not very good, really. Um, some people may like it, but it's no, it's not that great. It's definitely not worth the asking prices. Um, I was lucky enough to get that pretty cheap, but some of the prices on eBay, unbelievable. Next, another recent one is Silphied, Slipied. I'm pretty sure it's still feed, isn't it? Yep, it's a good game. Um, again, another one that's pretty common. Not too expensive. Um, and yeah, it's alright. Um, uh, the Terminator. Which, when I got this, it was brand new. Brand new and sealed. I've, I've opened it and played it because I really wanted to play it. Um, by far the best Terminator game, I think, ever on any system in the world, ever. Uh, compared to stuff on the Mega Drive and Master System, NES, anything, it's, this is definitely the best. Um, it looks, it looks great. The FMV cutscenes, which I think they're from the movie, can't remember. They look pretty ropey. But the actual in-game graphics, I, I think it looks okay. It sounds amazing. Cool soundtrack. And if I'm right, I, it's the only Terminator game that springs to mind that actually has the um, 
the theme music. Excellent game. It really is. Um, yeah. Cool. Cool stuff. Next is WWF Rage in the Cage. This is another one on eBay. You see some absolutely ridiculous prices for this. Um, but occasionally you do see it for, you know, a reasonable amount. Um, but yeah, this is another one I would really have liked to have had this as a kid. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw it actually um, somewhere. And I really want it because I was a massive fan of Royal Rumble on the Mega Drive, which this basically, th that's all it is really. Um, it's Royal Rumble and the Mega Drive, but with a lot more wrestlers, a ton of wrestlers. Um, but amazingly, the Royal Rumble option is not—it's not there. I don't—I I don't understand that. How did they remove it? Um. Next, we have Robo Alest. This is another one I've had for a while. Um, I forget where I got, got my got this, got this from. Or the price, I really don't remember. But it definitely wasn't the, the, the same price it's selling for. Or that, that gets listed as buy it now. It's crazy. Um, this also has its spine card as well. A few of the others do as well, sorry. I missed those out, but never mind. Um, these next two are also ones I've had for quite a while. Uh, first is Kyo Flying Squadron. Which is a fantastic uh, side scrolling shooter. Um, yeah. Again, it's another one. It's got some silly prices, but you don't see it all that often. Um, and I'm baffled by that because, according to Retro Collects game database thing, um, I'm pretty sure this is classed as a common game. It's, I don't think it's common. Um, but it is cool. If you can find it for cheap, which this one was. Pretty sure this is only about fifteen pound, something like that. May even may even have been ten. Not sure, but we're going back quite a while now, so I don't remember. But it's a classic game. So is this a Sonic CD? Probably one of the reasons to own a Mega CD, at least back in the day. It's a fantastic Sonic game. Um, again, this is a pretty common one, but some people seem to think it's worth a lot of money. I don't know why. Again, you know, you look on eBay. Um, you see some crazy prices for it. But it's a great game. It's a classic. You have to have Sonic. Next, a Final Fight CD. Which I did own and I sold. And I picked this up uh, at some point last year for a, a very reasonable £10. And definitely, you know, it's the best console version of Final Fight ever. It's got to be. Um, another Game Boy Advance Final Fight 1 is pretty good. Well, this this has got to be the best, hasn't it? Um, I do remember back in 93, it would have been 93-ish, um, there was a lot of people at school, you know, who had Mega CDs and they were laughing in the face of SNES owners. Because the Super Nintendo Final Fight is not, not that great, is it? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, these are the most the three most recent purchases. Um, the first one is Black Hole Assault, which I managed to get off eBay for... I think end, the, the auction ended at £3 something. So around about £5 posted, um, which is fair enough. Uh, <laughs> Definitely not the best game in the world, um, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in the Mega CD zone, um, and I really enjoy picking up games for the system. So I figured if I can get it cheap, then that's fine. But it's it's not a great game. Um, it kind of reminds me of Rise of the Robots, but with the graphical sort of style of Cyborg Justice on the Mega Drive. But yeah, it, it's it's um it's not good, but <clears throat> you know for a, for a couple of pound or a couple of dollars, whatever, I think it's worth it's worth owning. Next up, Star Wars Rebel Assault. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I did have this as well. Um, going back a few years, I can't remember though. 
But yeah, it's cool. Um, do have Rebel Assault 2 on the PS1. So, I figured I'd get this. I did have my eye on it for a while. <clears throat> but again, I didn't really want to be paying the eBay buy now prices, so I managed to get that on auction. Um, and I think all in £9, I think. Oh, we're on to the last one. And I'm really, really happy with this one. Um, this is one I've been looking at getting um, for a good few months now. Hardly ever appears on eBay. Or when it does, it's either the Japanese or the US version, which I don't want. I know it, it does come up in, in other parts of Europe, but I, I'm not sure whether whether they're the same or not. I'm not sure. But it is Wonder Dog. Finally have Wonder Dog. Yeah, this is definitely, like I say, one of the ones which I wanted to get. Uh, there's a few others which I really want to own, um, and they're going to prove tricky. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so glad to get this. Um, only just arrived um, yesterday uh, at the time of making this, this video. And I got it for £25, which I think is more than reasonable price. Um, it's definitely not, not a common game. I don't think. And it looks pretty cool as well. I've not tried it yet. Uh, but it does look like a pretty decent platformer. And they're always good. So that's Wonder Dog. Very happy with that one. And that's it for the Mega CD. Um, yeah, there's a few others, like I said, I want to get. Um, I wouldn't mind getting back Sensible Soccer. So stay tuned for that appearing at some point. Has to be done. Um, Shadow of the Beast 2 is one that I really want for some reason. Um, I just really want it. And it's not happening. Um, so there's that one. Um, I wouldn't mind picking up NBA Jam as well. Actually. Um, and I forget what else. I'm, I'm, st I'm staying far away from some of the others. Um, Samurai Showdown. Um, Fatal Fury. Theme Park. Syndicate Wars. I'm staying well clear of those. Because they are ridiculous. Um, I've, I have seen recently a copy of Syndicate Wars on eBay for like £550 by it now. They're, they're, no. Uh, that, that's, you know, that's way past most AES games. No. That's so. Sadly, I'll never go for a full set. But I'm hoping to add a few more. Because um, it's a great little system, the Mega CD. It really is. It does, it's, it has its place. Um, or like the 32X, which I will not be getting back. I did have one of those. That, that's not happening again. Awful. Awful system. I don't think. But the Mega CD, I think, is pretty cool. Um, and that's it. Mega CD collection video. Um, probably do some, some more collection videos. Um, well, I might actually leave a little thing in the description box thing. Maybe people can just say what they want to see. I mean, I'll be, I'll be doing them all again anyway, uh, with the exception of the Xbox and GameCube. Uh, I'm not going to do those again. Um, but stuff like the Mega Drive, Game Gear, Game Boy, Super Famicom. Um, I will be doing all of them at some point. But um, yeah, see what, see what you guys want to see maybe. Um, that'd be pretty cool. So thanks for watching, as always, and take it easy. Bye.